This is JC Masterpiece playing Mario Kart Tour Halloween Tour. This is the Luigi Cup. So we are starting out and with this cup I was able to do a 10 pipe right away. I had saved all of my rubies and did a 10 pipe right away and I have Luigi as well as the standard King Boo. So that's kind of a lot of fun for me. Luigi was my second pull in that pipe and Luigi is one of my favorite characters. So that's perfect. It's my probably my favorite mid-size character. So being able to turn around and pull him right away is a big deal for me. Okay, so I've got Luigi, Barrel Train, which I also unlocked through that pull, and the Droplet Glider. And we are starting out with Luigi's Mansion <coughs> from the DS. So we're f this is the first this is the first track from the original DS game. That they've had first tour, uh, the New York tour, neither the New York tour nor the Tokyo tour had a any tracks from the original DS game. Oh yeah, I hit, get hit by the bomb pretty early on. I'm in eighth place. I got two regular mushrooms and a power mushroom. Right now, since this is first run, I'm getting a handle on the, the track. I haven't played this um, I haven't played this track since, oh, for a long time. Haven't played this for quite a while since I had it on my original DS. Okay, but it's all kind of coming back to me now. I remember all these mud curves. Yep, that's right. It had a couple of reverse directions. Oh, I'm in second place, and first place was just taken out. Well, that's always fun. So from eighth to first... But that's no real surprise considering it is the very first race in the tour. The very first race in the very first cup. Which means it's not going to be super difficult. And it's really easy to get five grand stars even if you don't get first place. Now I've heard a rumor that with these... Ooh, yeah, that hurt. I've heard a rumor that with these... You can actually set it on the auto controls and let it go, and the um, you can s win a race without ever touching the screen. Now I'm assuming that that's on 50 CC. It's something that I will try out at some point. Um, but let's see where we rank here. Finish <coughs> and. Let's see how we rank. Obviously, first place. I should have more than enough points for five stars. 5196 gives me my five grand stars. I got it, and time to move on. Woohoo! Okay. Yep, got two daily challenges. <coughs> so, two grand stars for finishing the two daily challenges. Okay, we've got Peachette here. I think we're going to go with Luigi again. No no big surprise there. Luigi's being my favorite. Haven't had a chance to play him yet. So. And waiting for characters. We've got the Bitty Buggy and the Peach Parasol. Bitty Buggy is another new one that I just picked up. I had the Blue Bitty Buggy. This is the Standard Bitty Buggy. Which is actually kind of a fun cart to have just the the whole concept of the it's a bitty buggy and definitely you can look at it and say oh yeah this is a this is a cart that's that's with a child in mind a young child in mind okay second place first place got somebody sitting near on my tail peachette caught the ramp caught the coins <coughs> Going to catch this curve. Got to practice getting as many of these coins and points as possible for for bonus. The more practice, the better. Okay, caught the updraft on that one. Oh, I could have landed on the Goomba for more. 
Okay, I have to remember that for next time. Watch out for any if there's Goobas on the track and you're flying because they make great jump off points. Okay, so now on to the second lap on this one. Oh, I'm missing all the coins. I'll grab that one. Caught that one, missing the last one. Got a red shell coming on my tail. Good thing I had two bananas. Okay, so let's see. Got another banana. <coughs> okay, early on in this game, I um was thinking that the computer players were cheating because they would hold on to them. Some of them would hold on to their item after the um, they grabbed a new box. What I didn't realize at the time was that you actually have the ability to adjust the settings and switch it so that you don't automatically get rid of your item after the first when you grab a new box. So that is an adjustment that you can make. I thought the the computer players were cheating because of that, but um, no, it's actually a situation where you can adjust that setting. I have not adjusted that setting, but it is definitely very feasible. Okay. 55, 56, five stars. Here we go, third race in this set. And any guesses? This is an easy one. <coughs> Koopa Trooper it is. Okay, Koopa Dasher to go with Koopa Trooper. And then Peach Parasol. Any guesses to why I like the Peach Parasol? If you said it was because of the red shells, absolutely. Those red shells are so helpful, both defensively and offensively. <coughs> Having one of those sitting on your tail, you can protect your tail from from people coming up, and you can turn around and fire on the people ahead of you. So they make great defensive and offensive weapons. Okay. Bombs. Got a pair of bombs. Ooh, that worked out well. And a... Um, Mushroom. Ooh, they're sidesteppers. So if you've got a sidestepper challenge, this is a race to use for that sidestepper challenge. Just kind of bop those, run through it when you're not really worried so much about points, and just bop as many of those sidesteppers as you can get. <coughs> Great way to, to beat challenge and get challenge points. Run through this a couple times and you'll get those side sidesteppers. Okay, lap two, still in first place. Coming around the, come around the mountain when I come. <clears throat> Life's a beach. Here we go. Lots of coins, which is great for bonus points. And a bob bomb, which can both be helpful and destructive. If you get hit by a shell, you notice I saw a red shell coming, and I drop my bomb, because if I get hit by a red shell with that bomb, it's going to hit the bomb, and it's going to blow me up. So I want um, to, re you want to release that if you know there's a shell coming at you. <coughs> so that was the third race. I'm in first place. That was the third race in the Luigi Cup. Rack up the points. There we go. More than enough for what I need for five stars. Now on to the challenge for the last two tours. For the first two tours, this challenge was a turbo start challenge where it wants you to tap to hold down on two to start to get a turbo start and basically for beginners to learn turbo starts. In this case, it looks like they've changed things around just a little bit, <coughs> and this is going to be a, um, time, a timed thing. I was really, really hoping with these time trials 
that they were going to let you pick your cart and character. Because this would be a great track to show you guys the differences. This would be a great race and track to be able to show you guys the differences in the different carts and characters, how they play. Um, to get you guys get a feel as to the heavy versus the light controls, all that kind of stuff. Because they do matter. And it takes a different kind of, of play to run a light cart with a light character than a heavy cart with a heavy character. So I was really hoping they'll give us... So hopefully later on in this tour, they'll give us time trials where we can choose the cart, the character, the loadout. <coughs> you get two mushrooms. And that's all you get for items is those two mushrooms. So you have to... You have to figure out the best places to use them. A lot of times with these time trials, in the console games, games especially, you usually wanted to start out with one of them right away to get you up to speed really fast. Some people used both of them right away. <coughs> and other times you might want to use them for, to, for shortcuts. But usually you wanted to use it, at least one of them right away to get up to speed, especially if you were working with a heavier character that has a higher top speed to get the highest score for the time trial. Okay, so that has been Mario Kart Tour Halloween Tour Luigi Cup. This is JC Masterpiece. Like if you liked the video. Subscribe to see more. <coughs> Comment down below with any thoughts. And share. I mean, share, share the videos with your friends. The more that, that people like this, the more that they get involved, the more the more videos I can make, the more I can time I can invest into it. So really appreciate your feedback. Thank you so much and have a great day everybody. Keep watching.